Hey everybody, today what we're going to do is just a very short uh, explanation of why you already know what division is. We have an array that shows us a bunch of x's uh, in rows and in columns so that we can uh, figure out what the multiplication sentence here is. We've got four in this row, four in this row, four in this row, four in this row. Let's make it a little more interesting and let's make another row there. So we've now got four, 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 and four. And so because multiplication is just repeated addition, we could just go four plus four plus four plus four plus four, but multiplication does make things go a little bit faster. And so if I've got uh, five rows of four, um, I can use either five groups of four, or because of the commutative principle, tells us that we could also have four groups of five. Um, for this, we could just uh, double the five and then double it again. We could also use the clock fact strategy to figure this out. So if I look on the clock and I look down to where the four is, I would count that there would be uh, 20. There should be 20 in total here. So our uh, product for each of these is 20. But this also tells us that we can also use this as a fact family to figure out division. All division is, is finding how many groups there are or how many groups of something there are. Uh, let me show you what that looks like. We start with what our total is, and if we want to break it into groups of five, we can do that. What we can also do is we can say 20 divided into four groups because we've just shown that we can do both of those things. So when I do this, all I need to do is figure out this times this should give me this number here. So five groups of what gives me 20? Well, we already did the work there, but let's imagine that we don't see that. Five groups of, I have no idea. So let me always guess five. And if I guess five, then what that means is that I'll know if it's not right, I'll have to guess higher or I'll have to guess lower. So five groups of five is gonna be 25. That's too high, so I'll guess lower. Five groups of four. Five groups of four using clock facts tells me that it's gonna be 20. That's exactly what I want, four. Same thing for over here. If I've got four groups of something, I always guess five. Because then I can tell whether it's gotta be higher or whether it's gotta be lower. Four groups of five is 20, so I don't actually have to do any more work. This is what division is. When you get a question that looks like this, what this is telling you is that you're gonna either have groups of six, and you'll just have those repeating, or you're gonna have six groups. One, two, three, four, five, six. Always guess, because you're just gonna be multiplying the groups here. Always guess five to start with. Six multiplied by five is actually 30. It's not enough, it's gotta be higher. So I'm gonna guess six groups of six, and guess what it is? It's 36. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all multiplication, or sorry, that's all division.